Shaping the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kix 96 and WHON Video News with Jeff Lane. How many lives are improved through our STOP program, teaching kids the benefits of healthy eating and exercise? More than you know. More than you know is closer than you think. Read hospital and healthcare services. Welcome to Kicks 96 and WHO and Video News. It's Friday, June the 13th. I'm Jeff Lane. A federal grand jury in Covington, Kentucky yesterday indicted five more people in connection with a prostitution and human trafficking ring that included two Richmond businesses. Young Williams of Cincinnati previously faced charges, but two separate indictments link her to even more massage parlors. Williams was recently bonded out of federal custody by her husband, who paid the $25,000 in cash with five, ten, and $20 bills. The two Richmond parlors were raided back on May the 20th, along with 17 other similar businesses, mainly in the greater Cincinnati area. The federal grand jury also yesterday returned an indictment charging three people with conspiring to use a facility in interstate commerce, specifically a credit card processing machine, to promote prostitution. Authorities believe unsuspecting Korean women were lured to the United States only to learn that they would have to perform sex acts and then turn the money over to the people who brought them here. The man accused of murdering a Liberty woman appeared in a Butler County courtroom again yesterday. 35-year-old Daniel Estrada Lopez appeared in connection with the murder of 32-year-old Gloria Applegate of Liberty. His bond was raised yesterday to a million and a half dollars. Applegate's body was discovered in a Hamilton alley nearly two weeks ago. She had a gunshot wound to the head. There was also evidence of a sexual assault. Lopez will not face the death penalty, but will likely spend the rest of his life in prison with no parole if convicted. Lopez is also in the country illegally. He remains in a Butler County jail cell today. And a suspect led Richmond police on a high-speed chase of a different kind this morning. At around 4.40 this morning, officers tried to stop a man driving a quad runner on city streets in the area of the Townsend Center. The suspect took off on the four-wheeler. An officer involved in the pursuit said the suspect blew through several intersections at 70 miles an hour. Several officers and a county canine converged in a wooded area near Hawkins Road in New Paris Pike to search for the suspect, who was described only as a black male. He was not located, but the quad runner was recovered. This has been Kix 96 and WHO and Video News. I'm Jeff Lane. Have a great weekend. Leaving the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kix 96 and WHON Video News with Jeff Lane.